mean, you probably, she was going to lose her she job. She probably lost her job. But it's okay. I mean, let's hope not. You know. More importantly, are there any single men here? No, yes. Oh, What's yeah. up, ladies? Oh, Hello. Yo. Uh, 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 uh. That seat's taken. Ah, your Porsche don't need a seat. This is don't fake. touch my skin. Ah, yeah, come on. This is fake skin. Okay, three, three <laughs> olive martinis. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank a sparkling you. water. Thank you. thank you. What's that about? I'm going to the strip club later with Kevin. So I'm uh, gonna drink there. Wait, wait. You go to the strip club with your husband. <laughs> they got a situation. <laughs> Will you please stop calling it that? We do not have a situation. <laughs> I happen to have a wonderfully fulfilling open marriage with a great guy. But why? Did you hear the part where I said wonderfully fulfilling and great guy? Hey, don't be judgmental. Love isn't one size fits all, right? You want a license to cheat. If you honest, it ain't cheating, all right? And although I do respect the choice, Open marriage ain't for me. Mm-hmm. It is just so... But it is better than no sex at all. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? What is that about? Like, is that an AKA thing? Yeah. Delta. And celibacy is a personal choice. But is it? <laughs> oh, shit. It's solipsistic to think that just because something isn't your choice, that it's a bad choice. I can be in love with one man and open to a connection with another. But it's a dangerous game. Sooner or later, somebody crosses the line. But I'm too concerned about this big son of thing to be worried about my love life. I helped build this site, and I'm about to lose it all because of some self-described punani killer? Can we please talk about my problems? Oh, do we have that kind of time? Why is he allowed to sit with us? No, <laughs> because it's not high school. <laughs> OK, so every time I like a guy, we get in three or four dates, and then he's gone. I'm a pretty self-confident person, but I'm starting to wonder, is something wrong with me? When the right guy shows up, he'll probably vanish after three days, just like all the wrong guys. I just want to know in a real and concrete way, how can I make it last? Oh, oh my god! What? Did you read Maureen's column? No, yuck. Uh, OK. Women make a mistake when they think of the first few dates as an audition. And if they perform well, a man will cast them in the role of girlfriend and with any future luck, wife. For men, a relationship isn't real until the 10th date, when they've made enough of an investment that continuing the relationship is a conscious decision. Instead of getting emotionally attached the first time she feels butterflies, a woman will be well served remembering that a man at this stage is either infatuated or he's just trying to hit it. Mm. Boom. And she should gather information and put on an emotional condom until the 10th date. Ironically, it is this living in the moment that will get her to 10. And voila. I've never been on 10 dates with the same person, and I've been in love plenty of times. Has everyone here gotten to a 10th date before with the same person? Uh, yes. <coughs> mm, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. babe, yeah. You have 10 every 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I mean, I done it before. Find 10 men in this. I'm going to do it. Me too. What are we doing? The 10th date. Wait, wait, wait. It's not something you do. No, it is. Getting to 10 with the same person. You know, don't worry about getting married. Don't get too attached. Just have a good enough time to go out again. And then it's date number two. And then date number three. And then you're in a relationship. Why is that so important? <laughs> because I want love. Sometimes Maureen just pulls things out of her ass to stay on deadline. Can you be positive for once, please? But if you are going to do this, she'll probably pay you to write about it for the magazine. Yeah. Oh. How much? Freelancers get three hundred dollars a story. You? I could get my weave done. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Right? Can I remind you, you don't have a working car? Uh, yes, but that is my engine, and engines are way more than three hundred dollars. You know what? For front row seats to this foolishness, I would uh drive you to work every morning. And I'll help you pitch it to Mari. Okay. We all support you. And we'll be like the people that don't actually run the marathon, but like give the little cups of water to those that do. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> it's a 10. Yes, it's a 10. It's a 10. It's a 10. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 10. Yeah. 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 Yeah.